Now I often see that the, the uh, Turbo Hydro 400 was just as good, if not better, than the Torque Flight. So what do you think about those two? Probably the Turbo 400 was a better transmission. Okay. The, the uh, 727 had an overrunning clutch in the back. That, that was one of the first things that failed. That was a good transmission. The, the Hemi people used it, and all the Ram chargers and factory people used it. Of course they did. Yeah. But it was a heavy transmission for what it was for. And then you start putting motor in it, and the first thing they were putting superchargers on them, and and fuel injection and all kinds of things and expect that transmission to stay up. And right. sometimes they had this little roller clutches, a tin plate in the back of the transmission that was squeezed in there with a, some bolts, a few bolts, maybe six or eight bolts, and then a bunch of strings and a bunch of springs and it was over in clutch. And if, they, if that failed, it just ripped the whole back of the transmission right out. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, and then, uh, and you put that much power, right, something's gonna break. Right. But I think Turbo 400 was a lot stronger. You didn't see those break near as much. Actually explode. Right. But that was yeah. after the race car guys got a hold of it. Yeah, after the race car guys got a hold of it and, and beats it up. And now the technology they have in the Turbo 400 with the pumps and, and the, some of the newer ones have more bolts in the front, front pump housing. Okay. Maybe some of them had eight bolts to hold the front pump in and some of them had 11 bolts around it and wow. the Cadillac or the Buick or which one it is and and some of those transmissions are more favorable and now they cut them off cut the Turbo 400 off and put it behind the uh, Chrysler's and behind Ford big Ford motors or anything else and put the Turbo 400 behind it okay 